Okay, so what we're going to do in this part of the video is go ahead and start to prepare our upper for assembly and lining for assembly. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on the back side of the leather. That way you keep the front side clean. So you're going to trace this with all windows. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. And then I will uh, continue on with that. All right, so now that this whole thing is traced, we have that copied over. We're gonna go ahead and take our other piece that's gonna complete the upper, and I'll go ahead and trace that too. Find a spot for this pattern piece, and we wanna make sure that it's getting traced the right way. All right, so we have those two pieces and then we're gonna go ahead and cut those out. And so always take your time when you're cutting your pieces out. Again, don't make your notch too big in the front. It's just to find your center line. Sorry, I hope you can hear pretty well in this. This happens to be like the one day my neighbor's doing like jackhammering and refinishing their driveway. So sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. So we have our two upper pieces and then the same way that we did on the ballet flat, I'll show you an example of that. Okay, with the same thing that we did on the ballet flat, we're gonna to start to prepare the edge for the upper, okay? And so just an example, on the ballet flat, once we had everything cut out, we had our lines marked, we went ahead and prepared our slits here so that we would be able to fold it. So you're gonna make your slits here on your upper and get ready for folding. The same way that we did putting glue and adhesive here, you can see the dark area, and then applying our top line tape from one side, going all the way to the other side, right on that line, and then folding our upper down over the top line tape. So you're gonna do that whole thing, and we're gonna do it <clears throat> the same way we did it on the ballet flat, but we're gonna do it here for the pump. All right, so here we would start with our adhesive, cutting our slits and going all the way around. All right, when I'm cutting my slits for folding, I like to not go all the way up to the line. So I'm gonna stop just shy of the line and that's where I'm gonna be making those cuts. So that when I do my folding and I turn it over, I'm not gonna see those cuts on the outside. So stopping just a millimeter or two behind the line that you want to cut. Okay, so now I have my fingers that are here. These are all going to be able to fold over. All right, you can see that I'm just applying the clear Aquilum glue. Here, use what you have, rubber cement, if you have to use that. Um, you don't need a strong glue. This is just to kind of hold it in place while we're getting it prepared. So I'm putting it above the line and below the line and all on the little uh, fingers that we're going to fold down and then putting some here as well. 
I'm getting that ready to be folded and apply the top line tape to it. I'm going to heat that up with a heat gun for just a moment and get it to set clear and then apply the top line tape. All right, I'm going to apply a little bit of adhesive here on the back side and I'm going to apply a little bit of adhesive here on the back side. And again, this dries clear, we'll be able to wipe it off later in the process. But then I'm going to go ahead and combine these two pieces by stitching them. I'm going to heat them up with a heat gun again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these two pieces together right by the edges. Okay, so it should look like this. You have these two pieces together. Now this should be skived. I don't have a skiving machine. If you skive these two pieces, they'll go together nicely. So I'm just going to have to proceed here and then I'm going to stitch along this line to combine those two and then I'm going to open that seam. All right, so now that these two pieces have been stitched together, so you can see from the outside that that seam has been stitched. On the inside, I've just applied some double stick tape here and here. You can also just use adhesive and we're just going to open this seam.